Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski, and thank you so much for popping by my channel. So we're continuing on with our LumaFusion tutorials. In this one, I'm going to teach you guys how to do an animated text box. So come on, let's jump right into it. And you guys know I like to do everything with an overhead camera. This way it's just so much easier to follow along. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Okay, so what we want to do is start a new project, and this one we're going to call Title Box. Now, I normally do everything in 24 frames per second, so we'll just keep that consistent. Okay, so now when we're doing this animated Title Box or Text Box, we're just going to utilize the title portion of LumaFusion. It's just going to be layer on top of layer of layer with titles. So let's go ahead and go to the plain white title option. We'll grab that and throw that down into our main timeline. So let's go ahead and just expand this out for several seconds. Now we want to double click that and that is going to bring us to the properties window of this particular title. We want to start with a line though. Before we get started, we always want to know, you know, what it is that we're trying to build and create. So I'm envisioning a rectangle that grows from one side of the screen to another, and then my name is in the middle of that box. So let's go ahead and get rid of this title. We're going to put that in the garbage can because what we want to do is start with a line to begin to build our rectangle. So we'll hit the plus option and pick shape. Now what we want to do is find a line and we will choose the thicker line. So what we want to do is hit frame and fit and this is going to allow us to move and manipulate this particular line. We want to shrink this down. I think that thickness looks good. I'm just going to make this as a sample so nothing has to be perfect when I'm just showing you guys how to do it. Obviously, when you do it for your channel, it needs to be perfect. So let's go ahead and hit the back arrow to get us to the very beginning. So like I said, I want this particular rectangle to grow. So I want this line to grow out from the middle. So let's go ahead and start adding keyframes to this. We go to cropping. So what I wanna do is lift this up from the bottom and the top, and being that I spun the line, instead of it saying bottom and top, it's going to be left and right. So now you see the line has completely disappeared. So we're going to hit plus, which is adding our first keyframe. So what I wanna do is hit play for about not even a second, maybe just a little longer. And now what I wanna do is pull back on these bars, and this is going to expand out that line. And that's immediately going to add its very own keyframe. So let's go ahead back out of this and see what it looks like so far. Perfect. Okay, so what I wanna do now is start adding the rest of the rectangle. So I wanna measure here on the main timeline where that line is done growing, right there. So what I wanna do is grab another title and add it right on top to where the line is done growing. So we double click that. Once again, we're going to continue on with the rest of our rectangle. So we know we want to throw that title in the garbage. We hit the plus sign, choose shape. And once again, we're going to pick another line. Okay, so we want to make this line about the same thickness as this line. So we're just going to shrink it down. Maybe a little more. Okay, and bring that over to the very beginning. We're just going to spread that out. That looks good. So what we want to do is add another line to match that shape line. Just want to make sure everything looks good. It's the same length, everything is even. Okay, so now what I want to do is have that 
rectangle grow out. So let's go ahead and start adding keyframes to that as well. So we go to the frame and fit box. We go to cropping. Now what I want to do is peel this back all the way from the right until it completely disappears behind the main line at our first keyframe. And now we're going to have it grow across the screen. So I counted out about two seconds. So now we're just going to pull this down. And that's immediately going to add its own keyframe. So let's look and see how it looks so far. That looks good. Okay, so now what I want to do is add my name on the inside of this rectangular box. So it is a pretty long box, but I do have a pretty long name. So let's go ahead and say that my name is probably going to start right about in that area. So let's grab another title, drop it down onto the layer here. Now we are going to keep this one. We double click it and that's going to allow us to edit it. So I will put my name. Okay. Pick the font. I like Helvetica, so we'll stick with Helvetica. Make it the size that we want. Might have to move it over a little bit. So what I want to do is back out and just see how long it is. Actually, that looks pretty good. I just want to get it centered a little more. So I just want to raise it so that it's centered. Let's have a look to see again. Okay, so now what we want to do is have our name, or excuse me, my name, grow with the lines, having it be completely in sync. It's going to be a nice flow to the end of the screen. So what we want to do is add our first keyframe, go to cropping again, and once again, we're just going to peel back that name. Until it's disappeared, now we add our first keyframe. So what we want to do is pull this wheel until we see that line stop growing. And I think I'm going to have my name end right about there. So let's pull that out and see if that is going to work. That looks good. So let's see how it looks. That looked really good. Okay, so once the two lines are done growing, which is right there, now what we want to do is add in the final line. So we grab the title again, put it now right there, adding to the layer, double click that. So once again, we want to make a line. So we're going to throw that in the garbage can, hit the plus, choose shape, choose a line. Go ahead and hit frame and fit so that we can spin this line. And just make it as small as that. Is that about the same thickness? That looks good. Sometimes it doesn't always cooperate. Just have to get it as close as you can. I think that looks good. Okay, so now what we want to do is go to frame and fit. Oops, we already hit that. Let's go to cropping. So now what I want to do is go all the way into that line disappears, add our first keyframe, play it for about not even a second, now we're just going to pull this back down and allow that line to grow. And that's immediately going to add its own keyframe. We back out and just let's have a look at this. Okay, so once that 
Last line is done growing. I think I'm just going to add one more element to this main title. I think I'll have it say tutorials down here. So what I want to do is grab another plain white title and just add it to this particular layer. Go ahead and highlight it. Excuse me, double click it. Double click that again. And we'll put tutorials, but we're going to go ahead and space it after each letter. Okay, now we'll go ahead and pick a different font. So choose Helvetica. I think I want to italicize this one and make it very small. I think that looks good. So what I want to do, of course, is add a keyframe to this. Go to cropping. So once again, we just want to peel this up Add our first keyframe and then play it for not even a second, maybe a little longer, and then peel it down, have it appear, and let's see what that looks like. Okay, so I'd like it to come down a little quicker. What I need to do though is expand all these guys out so that everything's... Okay, so we're gonna double click that. I just want to go back to the beginning and just... Go back to cropping. So what I want to do is just get rid of that last. Okay. And our first keyframe, pull it back. Now let's see how that looks. Perfect, okay. So now what we want to do is, if I wanted to keep this on file to use in future videos, I'd have to save this as its own individual video. And I do that by, let's go ahead and clean this up first. So make sure nothing in particular is highlighted. When you hit the scissors icon, it's going to cut everything together. You just want to hit the main timeline and throw that in the trash bin, and that is going to delete all of those clips together so that everything is nice and in order and the same length. So what you want to do is hit the share button, choose movie. Now I save everything to my iCloud drive. Of course you can save it to your photo roll if you don't have an iCloud. It's going to ask you the settings with everything and just choose share. I've already given it the name title box so I will keep it that name. I hit share again and this is going to send this particular clip as its own movie to your iCloud Drive. So what I want to do is go over to my iCloud Drive and send this over to LumaFusion again. So let's say that, let me just pull up an older video of mine. So let's say I wanted to add that title into one of my videos. All I would do, instead of building that title box over and over and over again for future videos, I can just go ahead and grab it and drop it onto any video that I want. Go ahead and we'll mute that. And that's how you do an animated text or title box in LumaFusion. I thank you so much for joining me, and you know what I'm going to say. Until next time, wear your sunblock. My phone is blowing up. It's probably my mother. It's always my mother.